Good evening, everybody. And today we're going to talk about something that bike manufacturers, bike shops, nobody wants us to talk about. A mid-range bike is more than enough bike. Okay, you got it? A mid-range bike is more than enough bike for most of us. Okay, do you have a UCI license? Are you racing in the Pro Peloton? Are you even racing domestically? Are you racing, racing age group? If you say no, 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 and no, why do you need a $5,000 bike? Why do you need a $4,000 bike? You know, mid-range bikes start around $1,500. And you're going to get more than enough bike. You're going to get a bike that's capable of doing just about everything. And, and more, than capable, more than capable of what you can put out. So that's why I'm talking about the Trekamanda. The Trekamanda is a fabulous value because one, it shares the same genes as the carbon bikes. It's quick, it's light, it's stiff, and most importantly, it's comfortable. Okay? And you could get it at an affordable price if you just shop around. This is a 2020. And I got it, I got it at a really affordable price. It was retailing, I believe, sixteen ninety nine. I paid thirteen five for it. Okay, and that's a great value for a ten speed Tiagra full build hydraulic disc brakes, disc wheels, full beautiful beautiful alloy frame with a full carbon fork. The Montro saddle. Then you have the extra money for all the accessories and more bikes. I mean, this bike has every bell and whistle I need. Is it uh, DI2? No. <laughs> Is it all carbon? No. But you know what? If I smash this bike in a crit or if I come down a descent and crash it, you know, it's not that big a deal. You know, you get the track frame replacement and everything else you pay for yourself. You know, and that's where the value comes in, guys. Don't get hooked on these high-end bikes. If you can afford a high-end bike and you just want to gloss it and floss it, then do it. But if you're just like the average Joe like me and you just want to get out and ride and you're an enthusiast and you love the sport, stick around, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred and you're going to get a really good bike. Remember guys, bikes aren't going to be this scarce for long. The, two, the 2021s are coming out. This uh, pandemic is not going to last forever. Bikes aren't going to be selling off the shelves. They're going to be sitting pretty soon. And once they do, the bike shop's got to release them. The online shop's got to release them. And that's when the price points come crashing down. Okay, guys? So just be patient. Don't throw all your dough into one bike. Buy a moderately priced bike for your abilities. And then... You know, spend your money on the trip. Spend your money on a nice hotel wherever you go. Spend your money on the accessories. Spend your money on your cycling kit. But don't spend too much money initially on the bike. Bikes are beautiful, man. And I can appreciate, you know, a, you know, a, a $1,500 bike or a $10,000 bike. I can appreciate it. But, man, I don't need it. You know, I want to spend that much going to be a down payment on a car a nice car actually a truck the Toyota Tundra 4x4 TRD you know I'm going to need about 15000 to put down on that bad boy but uh, that's what I'm talking about guys just spend your money wisely you know the economic times we're in aren't the best so think before you buy Buy within your means and go out and ride your bike. You guys all know I got inexpensive bikes and I got moderately priced bikes. And I have one or two expensive bikes. But you know what? I didn't buy them all in one shot. And I shopped and shopped and shopped and haggled and haggled and haggled till I got the price that I was comfortable with. You know? And that's what it's all about. Be a salesman, you know, be a buyer. But be out there, know what you want. Don't overextend yourselves, guys. All right, man, the sport's beautiful, but uh, gotta be careful out there. I've just heard 
too many stories from a lot of subscribers saying they spent this, that, and and you know what? They weren't happy with the purchase. Well, they weren't happy because they were so consumed by the price point, and they had to, you know, they had to have Dura, so they had to have Altegra, they had to have Di2. Yet they're overweight, not fit, and they should have started with something basic and just worked their asses off on the bike. And it's a five thousand dollar bike or a ten thousand dollar bike isn't going to make you any faster if you're not fit. Okay. An expensive bike doesn't make you faster. A better body, a fit body, makes you faster. Kind of keep that in mind. But the bike shops don't tell you that. They'll sell a full carbon bike, you know, with a weight limit of 200 pounds to a guy that's 250 pounds. You know what? That bike's just going to be sloppy. Almost as sloppy as that dude's going to look. All right, talk to you all soon.